Okay? Amen. Amen. I'm blessed when, when I saw the message of one of our brothers in our group chat. In Psalm 122 verse 1, it says, I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. I know even our brothers online, they are excited. And we welcome you all in this uh, worship service. So I know you are all excited. So I am inviting everybody to please stand. And Brother Leo will lead us in opening prayer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you glad? I was so excited. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise to your name, O Lord God Almighty. We worship you, Lord. We give you thanks. We adore you. We glorify you. And we honor your holy name. Father, thank you that you are our heavenly Father. Thank you for being our King. And thank you, Lord, for taking us as your children to your kingdom. Lord, what a privilege it is for us today to be here. But Lord, before we open our hearts and our minds, we come to you this moment, Lord God, to say sorry for all that we've done. Lord, with a contrite heart, here we are. We know, Lord, that you're looking at our hearts. Lord, we pray that whatever shortcomings we have done for this week, you will forgive us, whether they are intentional or unintentional, Lord. Help us, O oh Lord, to have a clean heart for today, that we will be worthy to listen to your words, that we will be worthy, O oh Lord, to come into your presence, that we will be worthy, O oh Lord, for the Holy Spirit to move in our lives. Lord, you know that at times you have so many questions in our lives. But because today, Lord, is the day that you made for us, Lord, there's nothing else we can do but to rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, it is your life in us. It is your presence in our lives, Lord, that brought us where we are today. And we thank you, dear Father, for all the many blessings and grace. Even, Lord, for the challenges that comes our way. We thank you for them, Lord. Because, Lord, you told us in your words that you've given us not the spirit of fear, but you've given us the spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. And, Lord, here we are today. We want to have a sound mind, Lord God, so that we will be worthy, Lord, to pay attention to your words, that we'll be able to live these words in our daily lives. And Father God, we pray for our brothers and sisters who are not with us today. We pray, Lord, for them. We pray, Lord, for those who are attending online. Lord, we pray for our loved ones. You know, Lord, how we come to think of them in every day of our lives. But Lord, it's your spirit, it's your love, O oh Lord, that keeps on giving us the energy to spread the love we have from you, to spread that love to them, O oh Lord. And Lord, today, let your love spread in this hall. Let that love, O oh Lord, move in our lives, that we will be worthy, O oh Lord, to stand in front of you. Lord, we know that life is so uncertain, and we do not know, Lord, when will you come? But Lord, today, we are so ready. Here we are, Lord. Here we are. We're offering ourselves. Lord, empty our hearts, that it will only be you who will be inside of it. Remove, Lord, all the barriers, all the hindrance that may come our way. Lord, we rebuke the power of the Prince of this world because, Lord, we know that it is your power that will work within us. And, Lord, we pray for everyone here today. Lord, we pray for Pastor Aldrin and his family. We pray, Lord, for the ministry in Bangladesh. We pray, Lord, for the, all the brothers and sisters who are online. Give them, Lord, your presence. Let them feel, O oh Lord, your love in them. Lord, we thank you so much. And we prepare ourselves, Lord, for everything that will take place here today. Holy Spirit, illuminate our lives, our hearts, our minds. Let your light, let your word be a light unto our feet and to a, a lamp unto our path. And let these words, Lord, be the nourishment of our spiritual lives, of our spirits. Father, we thank you, and as we prepare ourselves, Lord, to worship you in praises, in 
songs, in words, in the way we say, Amen. Here we are, Lord. We ready our hearts. And all of us at this moment, Lord, all we can say as your children, with the power, with the guidance, and the leading of the Holy Spirit through our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we just want to say, Amen, and Amen, and Amen.
ng mga katabi natin ngayon ng ating mga kapatid. But then I encourage you to surrender everything to God, brothers and sisters. As mentioned in Revelation 5 verse 13. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that's in them say, To whom who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be praise and glory and power forever and ever. Let us surrender everything to the Lord, brothers and sisters. Let's not be ashamed. Huwag tayong matatot, brothers and sisters. God will accept everything. He will give us the strength to continue as we run with our faith and give everything and give praise and glory to our Lord. As you draw me near, desperate for you, desperate for you, I surrender. As mercy and grace unfolds, I hunger and thirst, I hunger and thirst. With arms stretched wide, I know you hear my cry. Speak to me now, speak to me now, I surrender, I surrender, I want to know you more, I want to know you I surrender I wanna know you more I wanna know you more Jesus, we believe. 
from Romblon. So, uh, we hope that this will not be, this will be your first time and you will continue every Friday. Kung pwede po kayo, kung available po kayo, we will be glad na makasama po namin kayo palagi sa gawain ng Panginoon. And we would like also to welcome our brothers and sisters who are with us online. Welcome po. So I would like to introduce our church to you and to everybody who, who are not yet familiar. The name of our church is J Jesus the Resurrected King International Ministry or JRK for short. And our holding verse is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, which says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And the church mission is to facilitate and to, to evangelize and to facilitate the growth of relationship to God of every living soul that God will entrust to J.R. King. And the church vision is a congregation with a strong re relationship with God that is full of the Holy Spirit and love for one another. So we hope everyone will be uh, together to fulfill the church mission and vision. And uh, for the Word of God, I would, I would like to call in our brother, napakasipag po na church leader. And uh, I pray that everybody will be ready, will listen intently as the Word of God will be preached through the life of Brother Leo. Dami kong mic ah. <laughs> Mahirap to. Tabi muna natin yung isa. Salamat po. Dami ko rin ko digo. <laughs> Parang ang dami at ang madami sa buhay ko ngayon, yung araw. How I wish. Uh, pasintabi po, alisin ko na lang po muna ito, baka mabasa ko eh. Maghalo sa aking ano. Yun, maraming salamat po. Okay. 
Amen. Tayo po muna tayo. And let's uh, read our uh, scripture for today, uh, which will be the uh, basis of the message that we will be uh, exposing today uh, in our worship service. And um, what I want you to do is we will read it alternately and then in the last verse, in verse 4, we will read it all together. So let me start with verse uh, 3 of uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 1, which says, are you ready with your Bibles? Uh, ready with the screen. <laughs> okay. Hindi lang kayo wais. Smart kayo. Amen. So, Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 to 4 says that in verse 1, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. For you died in your life, is he then with Christ in God? Let's all together read. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for this privilege to study your word. And Lord, as we start studying your word, Lord, we pray that you will open our hearts and our minds so that, Lord, we will be worthy to be filled with the wisdom from your words and that we'll be able to apply this in our daily lives. Lord, fill our hearts with the love, the love, Lord, that will come from your word because, Lord, we know that you are the word indeed. And these words, O oh Lord, we will have to live in our daily lives because, Lord, you are with us. Lord, as we talk about the subject on your love, Lord God, let your message be filled with love to us. And we pray, Lord, that whatever there is in our minds, Lord, we rebuke the enemy of the prince of this world, that, Lord, it, is, it will only be on you that our focus will be, paid, will be, will be focused, Lord God. And that, Lord, you will fill this hall and you will also fill the hearts and the minds of those attending online with your presence, listening to your word and taking wisdom from it. And that we'll be able to live it in our daily lives. All these things, Lord, we ask and pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, with the guidance and leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. All right. You may take your seats, Po. Um... I will just go back to the title slide. Uh, we will be um, continuing our study in the book of Colossians, and we're starting uh, chapter 3, verses 1 to 4, and uh, it will be all about the Christian's personal conduct. And for today's verses, we will be looking at the subtitle on setting the mind on things above with Christ. Amen? Setting up, setting the mind on things above with Christ. Amen? Wag po natin kalimutan, with Christ. No? And I was just smiling because the song, the worship song that we sang earlier, the first song started with running. Okay? We chased after God's love. Hmm? Actually, we don't need to chase after God's love anymore. But the song was very interesting. And then all of a sudden, we followed it up with, I surrender. <laughs> After running, I will surrender. Okay? But don't put malice on what I'm saying because it's really, it's really understood that at times in our lives, we keep on running after so many things. Amen? Especially nowadays. Especially nowadays. No? Lagi tayo nagahabol sa mga bagay-bagay. And we can't just explain why are we so, why are we so keen on, on, on chasing those things. Alam mo yung mga hinahabol natin, nandiyan lang eh. Di ba? Nandiyan lang yan, no? And then all of a sudden, sumusuko tayo. Ayoko na. Ayoko na. But the word surrender, in the secular world, yes, we do surrender, but when we have Christ with us, we don't need to surrender. Amen? Because we already have the power to overcome things. Right? Like when we say, yes, Lord, we're, we're, we're running after your love. We're running after God's love to us. Why? Because without the word running after God's love, 
then we are losing the intensity of our feelings towards God. Di ba ba? So, I'm trying to put it in a way na maiano natin, maisynchronize natin yung kanta natin, dun, yung puso natin sa kanta natin. Yes, that's true. We need to run after God's love. Why? Because we need to keep the fire burning. Amen? We need to keep the fire burning. Because the, 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 most, the most dangerous thing that can happen to the life of a Christian is when he surrenders at the secular context of surrendering. Amen? Yung sumusuko ka na, ayoko na, ayoko na. No? Pero sabi ng Panginoon Diyos, I have the power from the Father and that power I have given to you. Amen? The question is, are we using that power? So, we will look at today, in our study, we will look at how that power within us can be used so that we can set our mind on things above with Christ with us. Amen? Because we might be too ambitious of going to heaven, but we're working it on our own way. Right? We're working it on our own way. We don't have to work it on our own way, but we have just to look at Jesus. So, I want, to, to, I want you to look at it in the Amplified Version, which says, you can see there the highlighted, the highlighted text. In the Amplified Version, Therefore, if you have been raised with Christ, close in the open parenthesis, to a new life, sharing in His resurrection from the dead, keep seeking the things that are above. We are already with Christ. Amen? Sabi natin, nung binautismuhan tayo, buried in the likeness of His death. Hindi po ba? Naalala nyo, nung binautismuhan kayo? Nung inahon tayo, rise up. No? Umahon ka. Katulad nung pag-ahon ng Panginoon So Kristo sa kamatayan. No? And that baptism symbolizes our death to all the earthly things that are happening in our lives. But of course, it doesn't happen overnight. Amen? We go through a process. That's why, di ba, may kanta tayo na refiner's fire. Amen? These challenges na pinagdadaanan natin sa buhay, these are the fire that refines us, that purifies us. Ito yung mercury. Tayo yung ginto. Amen? Tayo yung ginto. Itong mga pinagdadaanan natin sa buhay, ito yung nagpupurify sa atin. No? The more na ginagatungan yung mercury, the more na umiinit, the more na napupurify yung gold. Now, ask yourselves, yun bang mga pinagdadaanan kung mga challenges ay nagpupurify ba sa akin or mas lalong naglulugmok sa akin? I don't want you to answer the question to me, but I want you to answer that question in yourselves. Amen? Kasi baka mamaya, we are falling short of, of, of our goal. No? What is our goal in life? We have so many goals, right? Secular goals. But the main goal that we should have is to set our mind on things above, which is the heavenly life with Christ. Di ba? How do we go to heaven? There's only one way. And God said in John 14, 6, the gospel says, I am the way i am the way right i am the way no? and ayoko nang dugtungan but anyhow as we continue with uh, with 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 our uh, study for today let me just give you a little bit of a rundown of the context of paul's epistle to the colossian church we all understand that paul was not really physically present in the church in colossae am i right Kino-confirm ko lang sa inyo kung nagbabasa kayo ng mga Bible nyo <laughs> or naalala nyo yung mga, mga, mga narinig nyo. Paul was not at Colossae, in the Church of Colossae, when this epistle was written, right? Dinalan lang siya ng mensahe ni, no? ni Epaphras. No? And the message of, of Epaphras was some li somewhat like a marites to Paul, right? <laughs> No? Marites yun kay Paul no? kung, sa, kung sa present ano natin Set up natin no? And Colossae ang, ang lugar na Colossae Ito yung isa sa mga gustong gusto puntahan Ng mga tao ngayon no? this, was, this used to be the uh, Asia Minor Which is now the modern Turkey 
uh, no? It's a small city in Asia Minor, which is now the modern Turkey, no? So, basa-basa din tayo ng history ng Bible natin, no? Um, napakaganda, no? Um, the, same, the same place with uh, Syria, of which the most prominent uh, city in the Bible is Damascus, right? And without the tragedy in the life of Paul on his way to Damascus, we will not have all of these epistles. Amen? Napakaraming, ano, napakaraming, uh, uh, napakaraming historical uh, uh, content ang banal na aklat na kapag, uh, kapag uh, uh, binabasa nyo at pinipikit nyo yung mata nyo at naglalaro yung imagination nyo, alam nyo para kayong nandun. No? Wala man kayo doon pero nandun kayo. No? Kakaiba yun na. Ah. Wala kayo doon pero nandun kayo. No? You are not physically present but in your imagination, looking at the word of God, nandun kayo. So, the reason why I'm trying to say this is because we need to be reminded about how Paul managed the situation of the Colossian Christians. Amen? When Paul heard that there, 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 there seemed to be a problem on, on, on that church, he did something. Because sayang eh. Di ba? Sayang, no? Sabi ko nga sa inyo, um, I think I was only uh, 19 years old when I heard this message the most scary thing that can happen in the life of a Christian is when he turns away from his life being in Christ. Yun yung pinaka-scary talaga. No? Yun yung pinaka-scary talaga. You know why? Because of this. Because of this. No? How is it nang ipinako dyan, bumaba na, umakyat na, tapos ipapako mo ulit? Di ba, ma, di ba masakit? Mahiwa ka ng, ng minsan sa isang daliri. No? After one week, nahiwa ka ulit. No? Di ba, di ba mas masakit yun? A double jeopardy, double injury. No? The same thing in our Christian lives. That's why Paul did his best that he can do something in the lives of the Colossian church when Epaphras brought him a news about a problem that was really a serious problem. That was really a serious problem. And you know, folks, if you will look at if you will look at this message that we're going to discuss, this has something to do with the current status of the Christian faith. You remember I mentioned to you about two things, two, two categories of, of, of people going to the church. Ano yun? Church goers and church doers. We need to reassess ourselves. Why? Because we're talking about heaven. We're talking about our eternal destiny. And the Bible says in the book of Revelation, I would rather you hot or cold. I don't want you to be lukewarm. Amen? Because I know that if you are cold, I can throw you somewhere else. But if you are hot, I can take you to the place where you are supposed to be in. Amen? Hindi po tayo pwedeng ano, ano, mediocre. No? Hindi tayo pwedeng ganun. No? So, while Paul was dealing with the problems one after the other, he first sought to ground this Colossian Christian solidly in the basics of faith. In the basics of faith. Can everybody say faith? Faith. faith. Alam nyo, itong word na faith, kinakanta, pero napakalaking question mark nito. Does it really come from the heart when we say faith? Di po ba? I think, uh, kailan ko ba na ano to? Um, sa uh, nightly prayer and devotion, kung naalala nyo, the fullness of faith. No? Balikan nyo po yan, nandun yung acronym, yung mnemonic na yun. And in chapter 2 of the, the, the Paul's letter to the Colossian church, Paul put emphasis on the fact that the Christians had been buried with Christ in baptism and raised with Him when you were brought out of the water, just like when Christ was risen from His death, and that we've been dead in sins, but Christ made us alive together with Him. Can you say, together with Him? Alam niyo, medyan, ito yung nakakaligtaan eh. No? Akala natin, ang bigat-bigat na ng balikat ko, pasang ko na yung buong mundo. No? 
Eh, ang tanong, nasaan si Kristo sa buhay mo? Where is Christ in your life? Every time you say, I'm tired, pagod na ako. Alam nyo, alam nyo, if you really want your, your spirit to grow, if you really want your faith to grow, itong mga, mga bagay na ito na, mga, na lagi nating binabanggit, ay, ang hirap. You know? <laughs> Yung momentum ko na, na-distract eh. Meron kasabihan, and I guess you will believe me when I say, who you think you are, you become. Who you think you are, you become. Yayaman ako sa pananampalataya ko kay Kristo. I will become. It's the spirit of positivism. In Paul's message to the young Timothy, when he said, God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. What's the most common literature that we read today? What's the most common issue? Well-being, mental health, depression, anxiety. Is that in our language? Is that in our vocabulary? They should never be. Amen? They should never be in the vocabulary of Christians. And if they are, then something is wrong. Amen? May mali sa buhay mo. Kung sabihin mo, dumadanas ako ng matinding depression. Kasi nagpapadala ka. Who you think you are, you become. I'm depressed. And really, indeed, you will become depressed. Amen? We want to aim of going to heaven. Pero nai-stack po tayo dito sa lupa. Bakit tayo nai-stack sa lupa? Because there's question in our faith. There's question in our faith. We forgot that we have Christ with us. And we don't play with our minds. We might be playing with our minds, but we keep it stuck dito sa ground. Ipo ba? Why? Because of the influence of what we're seeing around. And today, in chapter 3, Paul is reminding us of a very important thing. Paul goes on to talk about the present life. Can you say, my present life? Then ask yourself, what is my present life right now? Worries. Full of worries, right? Anong susuotin ko bukas? Anong kakainin natin bukas ng umaga? Walang masama doon, no? As long as you put Christ in between your plans. Lord, kung luluubin nung magising pa ako bukas, ito yung aalmusalin ko. Lord, kung magising pa ako bukas, kung luluubin nyo, ito yung susuotin ko so that your life will be seen in me. We keep on saying, Lord, I want to be a light on top of a hill and I want your character to be seen in me. But are you really doing that? Amen? Again, it goes back to faith and what is Christ in our life. Baka hindi tayo maka-take off. Baka hindi tayo maka, 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 makausad niyan. No? In, 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 in uh, uh, I think in, 19, was it in 1986, somewhere that time, mayroong isang space shuttle. No? Nilaunch yung space shuttle. No? After a round, nilaunch yung space shuttle. Alam niyo naman kung gaano ka-expensive mag-prepare ng isang shuttle to take off and to go to space, right? You know how expensive it is. Definitely, you know that. After 73 seconds of taking off, the space shuttle exploded in mid-air. Exploded in mid-air, right? And how many lives were sacrificed in that explosion? I think around seven. No? Smart people, intellectuals, no? kung ano yung pinag-aralan nila. No? And it, then, it ended up in a waste. Right? It ended up in a waste. After investigation, it turned out 
na yung mga very small things na hindi akalain, yun pala ang pag-cause ng leak. No? I think the oil seal, no? nag-iba yung reaction sa, ter sa temperature nung nag-take off na because of the extreme heat. No? Because of the extreme heat. How many of our Christian friends, we knew and we worked before, and then after a while of being, quote-unquote, a Christian, bumalik sa secular life? How many? The answer is many of them, right? Personally, I know some people, many of them, no? nahatak, ng, nahatak ng buhay sa mundo. Why is that? Because of the fact that nakakalimutan palagi natin na we as Christians, yung buhay natin, yung lumang buhay natin, it was already buried. No? It was already buried and we were already raised up. But we were not so uh, into the thinking of sustainability, another term. That's been a vocabulary of the decade. Amen? Sustainability. Right? And this word sustainability, nandyan na yan, nag exist na yan sa buhay ng isang kristyano. Hindi lang na-emphasize ng mabuti. No? Kasi, nilagay siya sa context ng secular life. And especially in terms of the environment. And this environment is really a big factor when it comes to the influ its influence in the lives of Christians. No? Kaya nga, maraming, marami tayong naririnig ngayon about prosperity gospel. Amen? Kung paano yumaman yung madaling paraan para yumaman. Mayroon tayong mga investment, maglaro ka lang ng games. No? Mayroon pang mga pa-scholar dyan. Am I right? No? Tapos mayroon pang Uh, maglalakad ka lang yung number of steps na convert sa energy yung energy na convert into what and then nagiging pera no so ngayon ano eh there, there are so many things that's being done for a quick fix solution amen quick fix solution no it makes us get stuck in where we are and we forget about this towards our eternal destiny towards heaven And this is what exactly Paul did when he reminded the, the Colossian church about setting your mind on things above. That's why in, in his message, he said that if then you were raised, amen? If then you were raised, alalahanin niyo na kung kayo ay inahon na. Ano pang gagawin mo? Inahon ka na eh. Lulubog ka pa ba ulit? Sino sa inyo ang minsan tumalon sa swimming pool, tapos tumalon kayo, umahon kayo dahil sa lamig. Tinakbo nyo yung, yung robe nyo, tapos pinulupot nyo, tatakbo, bababa ka pa ba ulit sa pool? Hindi na. No? Madadala ka na kaagad. No? But the word is, madadala, does it exist in the life of a Christian? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Amen? The truth hurts. But this is the truth. And I for one, nangyari sa buhay ko yan. No? Nangyari sa buhay ko yan. And not unless you will set your mind on things na talagang gusto mong makakaratingan, nagiging mahirap. No? You have to go through a process again. You have to go through a process again. And that process might be more painful than how it used to be. Amen? So it's, it's, it's really a very interesting reminder for us here when Paul says, if then you were raised up together with Christ, here in Colossians 2.20, in Colossians 2.20, we are reminded here about if ye dead, if ye dead with Christ. No, in this being, you died, if ye dead with Christ. No? Ang kamatayan ng Panginoong Sokristo, kasama na yung, yung, yung lumang buhay natin dyan. No? Kaya nga, ang, ang, the, the, uh, the, con, the, concept, the, the concept of, of uh, baptism by immersion is really, is, is really significant for us. No? Siguro napapanood nyo yan minsan sa mga reels. May mga nagtanggap sa Panginoon. No? Nasa construction site, nasa 
uh, heavy equipment, anong ginagawa nila? Lilinisin nila yung, yung fork, lalagyan ng tubig, doon ibabaptize. Pag may makitang drum, lalagyan ng tubig. Then, baptism by immersion takes place. Because that signifies your old life being dead. And then you will rise up the same way Christ did the resurrection for us as a very significant uh, manifest or uh, demonstration of how we sit to be risen with Christ. So if if then if then we were dead with Christ, then that old life is now is now buried and it should not be resurrected anymore because our resurrection now is is not the same resurrection with that kind of life that we had in the past. So uh, in, in Galatians 2.20, Paul reminded also the church in Galatia, I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I that live, but Christ living in me, that life which now I live in the flesh, I live by, I live by faith, and not by sight. And what, what, what does sight mean? It means seeing things around us. Dipo ba? What what attracts our eyes? What attracts our eyes? The colors of the things around us. Amen. The colors of the things around us. And these colors they can mix up from the basic colors of what we used to call Roy Gibiv. Nalalo niyo pa yon? To a more complex color which also signifies how complex the life around us is becoming and how we get more attracted to these things around us. Amen? We walk by faith. I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and what? Gave himself for me. Christ gave himself for us, for you and me. Unfortunately, some of us are still giving our lives to the prince of this world. And there are so many of them right now who needs us as workers in the vineyard of, in the vineyard of God. Indeed, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Amen? And, anong sabi ng Panginoon? In, ng Panginoon Iso Cristo in His Gospel in Matthew 28, 18 to 20? All the power is in me, and I have given you power to preach the gospel from Judea, Samaria, into the outermost part of the world. Amen? And my friends, right now, we are being challenged. Alam niyo naman kung sino nanonood, nakikinig sa atin ngayon. No? That's a very big challenge for us. And it talks about our faith that we can bring with us people who will also set their minds on things above with Christ. Amen? Of course, we can set our things above. Ako, nakaset na yung isip ko on things above, no? Kasi magbabakasyon ako sa March. So, naka, my mind is already set to flying, right? <laughs> to flying, no? But that's another thing. And in Romans 6, 3 to 6, or do you know, or do you not know that as many of us were baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into His death. Therefore, we were buried with Him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we also should walk in what? In the newness of life. We should also walk in the newness of life. Amen? Are we walking in the newness of life? Mahirap po kasing, mahirap po kasing uh, agarin itong ano, eh, usaping ano, eh, papunta sa langit. Eh, no? Mahirap to, no? Kaya pag-usapan mo natin, dito muna tayo sa ground. No? Pag sinabing, pag kapag kay Kristo ka, tinanggap mo na si Kristo, no? If you have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ and you have repented of your sins, no? we can go to heaven. Right? No? Oh, that's good news. I would love that to go to heaven. So how to go to heaven? Of course, you die first. Oh, <laughs> nakana. 
No? Kaya nga minsan eh, pag nagbibiro ako eh, yung Tagalog ng sino taga Batangas dito, no? O siya, kami yayao na. Uy, wag ang bata mo pa. <laughs> no? Kasi sometimes na interpret pag sinabing may yumao, may namatay, hindi po ba? No? Pero yung pagyao ay paglisan, pag-alis. Kaya lang nabibigyan natin ng ibang kahulugan, hindi po ba? No? No, ang pagyao, ang pag-alis, no? So again, to talk about heaven, no? We need to be spiritually open, spiritually growing, no? And directed towards that kind of the direction of our thinking. Amen. So let us always remember that we were already dead in Christ in His death, and we were resurrected in His resurrection as well. So seek those things which are above. Amen. Seek those things which are above. Ano ba yung hahangarin ko sa 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 kaulapan, no? Sa taas. Do you do, do you once in a while go out in the open and then tumingalaman lang minsan? No? You people of stiff neck. No? You people of stiff neck. Kasama na ako dyan, no? The reason kung bakit tayo nag stiff neck minsan dahil hindi man lang tayo marunong tumingala. Amen? We've been used to praying with our heads bowed but not our knees. We're bowing our heads, No? but we don't know how to surrender. Naramdaman niyo ba yun? No? Na bakit pa dasal ako ng dasal? No? Bawa ako ng bawa ng ulo ko. But is there really complete surrender when we pray to God? No? What does that mean? A sign of humility is putting yourself down. And sometimes we're still so proud. No? Wala eh, madumi sa igim. Sakit uhod ko eh. Tigas-tigas niyan, no? That's why sometimes, if you notice, I bring the invitation of let's be humble in front of our God para maramdaman natin. No? If your mind is really set on things above, sinong nandun? Ang Panginoong Diyos. No? Panginoong Diyos. Hindi lang ang lieg natin naging stiff. We're also making our knees stiff. No? Kaya I, 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 I alternately do it of of during our uh, intercessory prayer nung hindi pa ako nagla-live din kasi I really want masarap kasi pag nakaluhod sa gilid ng kama no tapos yung luha mo diretso na rin doon sa kama <laughs> diretso na rin sa bed cover no masarap kasi yung ganun na talagang ano mabubuhos mo yung ano mo mabubuhos mo yung yung pakiramdam mo I do not know if you've experienced that I hope you will experience that no and we we will get to experience that Seek those things which are above where Christ is. No? Sabi natin, pupun- gusto natin pumunta sa heaven. But sino nandun? It is Christ who is there. No? Ang sabi niya, mauna ako sa inyo. Ipiprepare ko ang daan para sa inyo. No? You will go to where my Father is. Di ba? Yan ang pangako niya sa atin. No? So question, are we aiming that? We might be aiming of going to heaven, but we do not know who's there in heaven. No, sabihin lang natin eh, no? pupunta tayo sa langit. No? But do we really put essence into th- the thing when we say we want to go to heaven? And where is he sitting on the right hand of the Father? And Paul and Paul is, is, is telling us here, the word seek is present tense. The scripture was written more than 2,000 years ago. And even until now, hindi pinalitan. It's still a present tense tense. Na hanggang ngayon, kayo, tayong lahat, let us seek the things that are above. And in 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 other meaning, the word seek is indicating a what? A continuing action. No? Continuing action. It's it doesn't say sought, no? Siguro pag nandoon na tayo sa taas, pag nandoon tayo sa taas, I sought the things which are here and I was able to arrive here. No? But for now, let's seek the things which are above. Pero alam nyo, may masakit dito eh. May masakit sa word na to. No? May masakit dito. Kung isipin na natin yung sarili natin, how about our loved ones? Naisipan natin sila? 
Para sa akin, yun yung pinakamasakit eh. Na siguro yun talaga yung burden sa akin na if I keep on seeking things which are above, my question to myself is, how about them? But God knows what's in my heart. God knows what's in my heart. Araw gabi kasama sila sa panalangin ko, Lord, if it's not me, then send other people so that you can be brought into their lives, so that their heart's door can be opened and they will let you come in. No? Let's not be self-centered. No? Let us also let people seek those things which are above. And as a consequence of the members in Colossae, as a consequence of their new life in Christ, the Colossian Christians need to lift their eyes from the mud at their feet to the stars above. Ano po yung kasasabi ko lang sa inyo? Do we get to lift our head at times and look at above? Of course, there will be times na hindi ka titingala, di po ba? Pag umulan, huwag kang titingala, no? Ang ulan, hindi yan eye drops, baka mamaya acid rain yan. Di na ano pa yung mata mo, you should know when is the best time for you to look up. Do you, do you sometimes spend spend uh, a moment of, of... Ako kasi ugali ko ito eh. Pag nag-walking kami minsan, no? Hindi ko na sinasabi sa kasama ko pag nag-walking na tumitingala ako and I just utter praises, no? Papasalamat ako sa Panginoon. Lalo pa kapag nakita ko ng mga tala sa kaulapan. Lalim nun na, no? Whenever I see the stars in the sky, na-appreciate ko talaga yan, no? Because even until now, I can still remember my youngest daughter when she was still, I think, five or six years old. She was holding my hand and then she was telling me, naiyak ako kasi naalala ko talaga, no? Sabi niya, Papa, uh, look at those, those stars. Sabi niya, yung three stars na yan, saan ka man mapunta pagdating ng araw? Pag tumingalak at makita mo yan, maalala mo ako, no? And then, pumasok sa isip ko, anak, hindi na ikaw maalala ko. I will always remember the glory of God. No? So I do not know kung kayo na-appreciate nyo rin minsan yan. And even until now, when I was in the ambulance service, when I work in Karaana, no, madilim kasi doon, and also in, in uh, uh, Ruiz, pag kung saan may madilim, pag tingala, makita mo yung stars. And every time I look at the sky and I see the three stars, I always remember the glory of God. And I always remember my daughter. And I think even to my last breath, I will, I will never forget the three stars. No? Because for me, Lord, how amazing you are. No? Itong mga stars na, na nakikita ko, they come and go. No? In my vision, of course, in our vision, because the earth revolves, the stars nandyan lang yan. No? Nandyan na yung stars, depending if it's day or night. But the glory of God will always be reminding us sa kabutihan niya sa atin. No? I don't aim to reach those stars. No? Diba? Ano yung sabi nila? If you want to uh, uh, read, to aim, aim, if you want to go to the stars, aim for the moon. Ano yung hindi ko mahal sino nakaalala niyan? No? Di ba mayroong ganyan? No? Sungkitin ko ang mga, ka, yung mga drawing na mga pananalita. But, but my friends, the Apostle Paul is reminding us here in, in his uh, letter to the uh, Ephesians, Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus, every knee, every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to what? To the glory of God the Father. Sabi ko nga, karamihan sa atin na i-stack sa buhay dito sa mundo. No? Minsan, na, minsan sinasabi natin, nagbibigay naman ako sa church, nag, nagdadasal naman ako, pero bakit ganito pa rin yung kalagayan ko? You know what? You should not be ask, we should not be asking that question anymore. If we, if we really understand the glory of God, no? we are being purified with all of this. We are being purified. No? Ang isipin lang natin na one day, one day, when this life is expired, I will be there with Him. Ganun lang sabihin natin, no? And don't be afraid of death. No? Be excited with death. Nako, iba napakaramdam ng iba rito. No? Be excited with death. Why? Bakit tayo maging excited sa death? There's a better place for us. Amen? 
there's a better place for us. But of course, again, may kaakibat na pag-aalala yan. Let's always remember our loved ones. In Romans 12, 2, If we've been raised with Christ, buried with, buried with Christ in His death, do not be conformed according to this world anymore. Do not be conformed according to this world anymore. But be transformed by what? By the renewing of our mind that we may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The problem is, marami tayong agam-agam. No? Mayroon tayong tag of war. Amen? Gusto ko doon, gusto ko dito, gusto ko doon, gusto ko dito. Always remember what, 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 what God said in His revelation to John. I would rather hot you, have you hot or cold. No? So let's, let's keep the fire burning. By what? By, by the renewing of our mind. No? Alam nyo, for several times, uh, alam, alam nyo, mababaw ang kaligayahan ko eh. Mababaw, napakababaw ng kaligayahan ko. Magpunta sa mall, makita lang ko ng mga naka-display dyan that are of interest to my eyes. Not necessarily na bibilin ko kasi wais ako pag mamimili. No? Hindi ako namimili ng hindi sale. <laughs> yun, yun, kilala nyo na ako. No? Um, for several times, nakakapture yung, yung eyes ko at saka yung desire ko sa mga bagay-bagay na gusto kong bilhin. Hawak-hawak ko na, ito yung pumapasok sa isip ko. There's a whisper in my ears and a reminder to my mind that says, do you really need this? Do you really need this? No? And then may karugtong, meron ka pa. Ah. Meron ka pa niya na. Ah. No? And I always, I'm always putting this in my mind. Yes, with God, things are enough. Sabihin nyo nga, with God, things are enough. Wala pong problema, mamili tayo, as long as it's in within the contains of what we need. Amen? What we need. Kasi alam naman natin ngayon, di po ba? Kaya nga, walang masama mamili ng mamahalin. As long as, as it will last for years, as long as it will really satisfy you na punit-punit na, ayaw mo pang bitawan, wala pong masama dyan, no? Walang masama dyan. Ang masama lang, at sinasabi naman ng banal na aklat, if this put a barrier between us and worshiping God, then that is the problem because we will not be setting our mind anymore on things up above. Amen? Amen. So let us not be conformed according to this world. And also, in the Gospel of Matthew, we are reminded here, in the Gospel of Matthew, do not lay up for yourselves, what? Treasures on earth. Why? Muth and rust will destroy them, and thieves can break into your house and steal them. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be. And seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things will be added unto us. You know what? We might not be able to collect material things, but the joy and happiness, happiness, makakamtan natin yan. If we set on, on our, our mind on things above, makakamtan natin yan yung mga bagay na yan. Amen? Now, when we set our minds on things above, wag na tayong magdalawang isip pa. Let's throw away those things that can get us stuck here on earth. What are those things? This is a very uh, important reminder of Paul to the Colossians and to us. Last Friday, we heard about the human rules. Amen? And some of them, the human rules can be non-spiritual beliefs. Amen? Those culture and tradition na nakagisnan natin. Mananatili pa ba tayo doon? No? Alam niyo yung nanay ko, years back, may nagregalo na 
uh, kabats ko nung high school, nagpunta sa isang lugar, pag-uwi niya, may dala siyang yung uh, luminous na uh, rosary, no? Luminous, no? Eh, nung time na yun, uh, sabi ko, dalin ko na lang to sa bahay. Nung makita ng nanay ko, inano, nilagay sa, sa wall, no? Nakasabit yan. Pagkabukas ang ilaw, nag absorb ng light. Pag napatay na yung ilaw, nagre-reflect, no? Sabi ko, okay lang yan. Sabi ko, hayaan ko lang nanay ko. Kasi for how many years, I've been trying to evangelize to my mother. And finally, one day, sinabi ng nanay ko na talagang tinanggap na niya ang Panginoon sa Kristo. No? And I really, I really praise that moment ng sinabi niya yun. At lahat inalis niya na yun. No? Pati yung mga printed na mga may imay na nilalagay sa dingding, inalis niya yun. No? And she'll be turning 81 this year. And lagi siyang nag-iisa sa bahay kasi dalawang teenagers lang yung kasama niya. Ang tinatanong ko sa kanya, kasi may time din, of course, with old age, may time din na nalulungkot yung matanda, no? And someday, magiging ganun din tayo, malulungkot din tayo dahil nag-iisa tayo. But of course, sabi ko sa kanya, lagi mo nalang alalahanin, ang buhay mo ngayon, sobrang bonus na. Di po ba? The Bible says, our longevity will be three score in ten. Amen? A, a score is twenty, and 10 is 10. So, 3 times 20 equals 60, plus 10 equals 70. And my mother is already 80. No? Sabi ko, sobrang bonus na yung buhay mo. No? Nakakapagbasa na pa ng Bible, pinatigil na lang namin sa pag -gancilyo. Kasi gusto pang mag no? Yes, nandyan. Ang regalo niya sa amin na, anong tawag doon? A bed cover na gansilyo niya sa queen size na bed, nandyan. No? Sabi ko, hindi namin ito gagamitin kasi ilalagay lang namin dyan. Eh, siguro minsan gagamitin din dahil ayokong masira, dahil souvenir ko sa kanya yun, no? Sabi ko, Nay, enjoy mo na lang buhay mo. No? Ano, yung, ano yung gusto mong gawin? Gawin mo na lang. But of course, always put God at the front line. Sabi niya, yan naman na ginagawa ko. No? So, non-spiritual beliefs, legalistic practices. No? You remember my, 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 my preaching here also? No? Yung sabi ko dati na hindi ako magbabasa ng ibang Bible, ito lang yung gusto ko. No? And then I realized na there's more to it. But of course, hindi lang ako, it was not only me who decided on that, but there was also divine intervention. Because when God says do this, no matter what will you do against it, God will always prevail. God will always prevail. Amen? What else? Vices. Bisyo. No? Marami tayong mga kakilala, may mga bisyo. No? And they get, they get stuck sa mga bisyo nila, like inom, uh, gluttony, gluttony na kain dito, kain doon. No? There's nothing wrong with eating. No? But if, if, if eating and eating will spend your resources and God will not be glorified, forget it! Amen? Why? You're just poisoning yourself. Hindi po ba? Hypertension. No? High cholesterol. Ano pa? Gout. No? Ang dami. Hindi po ba? And we're saying, this body is the temple of Christ. We have to keep this holy. And here we are. No? May gamot naman eh. No? May gamot naman eh. Okay lang. No? Avoidance to dwell on things that are not wrong in themselves, but, but they become priorities above Christ. Ito yung lagi kong inaano rin sa mga tao sa palibot ko. No? Eh kung hindi man lang mag-glorify ang Panginoon dyan, at kung wala tayong time para mag-glorify sa Panginoon sa gagawin natin, wag na lang. Hindi po ba? Sayang yung oras ko, no? Hindi bali nakaupo ako sa computer ko, pero I'm studying the Word of God. Hindi bali nakaupo ako sa sofa, pero I'm listening to praise and worship songs. No? At least I'm putting my heart into that. Kaysa magsayang ako ng oras sa labas. Why? Because it should be God first. Of course, not all of the time. We, we, we will not be talking about fanaticism, but we will only be talking about these things in reality. Right? And even in... Uh, in, uh, in uh, Romans earlier, we were reminded not to conform into this world. No? And uh, uh, also in 1 Timothy, when Paul reminded the young Timothy, command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant nor to put their hope in wealth which is so uncertain 
but to put their hope in God, which richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. You look around you. Apply the abaya. Sino nakaalala dun sa abaya na tinuro ko during the nightly prayer and devotion? Above, below, behind, inside, inside, and around. Look above you. Do you enjoy the rain today? Yes, I did. Pagbukas ko ng bintanoy, umuulan, ang sarap ng pakiramdam. No? Pagtingin mo sa daan, basa ang daan. Uy, sarap, iiwas-iwas ang sapatos. No? Behind us, below us, no? yung mga itininim natin, below the ground. No? Of course, not six feet below the ground. In Colossians 3, For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. We have died already and our life in His death was already hidden in Christ. So what does that mean? Naitago na yung lumang buhay natin in Christ. We've been renewed. Amen? We've been renewed. Can you say that? I've been renewed. Talaga? Totoo? Totoo? Ang tamlay. No? I've been renewed. No? I've been renewed. I will not be here if I have not been renewed. Amen? You will not be here if you have not been renewed. We've already died with Christ. And in Colossians 3, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Where does our wisdom and knowledge come from? It's coming from God the moment we were renewed. Binago ka na eh. Kung sa computer pa, nireformat ka na. Nalagyan ka na ng bagong application. Natanggal na yung mga, ano tag doon? Mga virus doon. No? Reformated na tayo. No? So pag reformated ka na, fresh na. Di po ba? Yung battery mo, makaka-charge na ng maayos. The same thing with our lives when, we, when we've been renewed. And 1 Corinthians 15, 42-43. The body is sown in corruption. Do you believe that? Hindi yan corruption na decomposition. No? Because only the dead body decomposes. But the, 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 the body that is alive can be Corrupted. And we know that very well. Ang daming tao ngayon, corrupted yung, yung pag-iisip, corrupted yung bibig, corrupted yung mga galaw, di po ba? No? Because they are not in Christ. And they are not aiming for things above. But if we are aiming for things above, we will avoid things that can corrupt our body while even while, while we are still al alive. It is raised in incorruption. We are now raised in incorruption. Amen? And that being raised in incorruption is all about forgetting about dishonor, but instead, we are now raised in glory. And this body which was sown in weakness is now raised in what? In power. Amen? So, have you recalled moments in your life na parang nangihina kayo? Parang nanghina kayo? I, I, I have a friend, no? Sabi niya, he's on a diet. Paggising niya sa umaga, inom lang siyang tubig at kapirasong pill. And that pill will, will prevent him from having the desire to eat. No? Ang tanong ko sa kanya, then what? After maglapse na yung effect ng pills, anong mangyayari sa'yo? Sasabihin ko mangyayari sa'yo, manginginig ka sa gutom. No? And true enough, no? Sabi sa akin, kuya, kain tayo. Sabi ko, bakit? Wala na yung talab ng gamot, nanginginig na ako sa gutom. Ay, natural! Wala ka ng sugar sa katawan mo. You keep on moving. Your brain needs sugar. Right? Kailangan ng energy and you will only get that from food. Anong magagawa ng, ng, ng pill na yan? No? Kaya, ka, kaya ka pinipigilan kumain kasi ayaw ng katawan mo mag-take in ng something. But deep inside, you're struggling. Amen? Deep inside, you're struggling. So, weakness in our lives. No? So ngayon, kung sabihin pa natin na ang hina ako sa ganito, nangihina ako, then what's the purpose of saying that I've been renewed with Christ? In other words, being Christian, it's only all about a lip Christian. Amen? Alam nyo, what, 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 I, what I really feel sad kapag nakakarinig ako ng yung mga reklamo na, ano, lalo pa kapag, uh, I, I'm really honest with this because even Sister Joy knows about me when I say, 
Huwag ka mapuro ganun, no? Kasi I always believe in the saying that who you think you are, you become, no? Pagod na ako, na, ano ba yan? Mga ganyan, no? Kasi ang ibig sa'yo, parang you, you feel like you're bitter in all aspects of your life. Di po ba? No? Let's always claim the power that God gave us in His glory. No? It's, it's just all about grabbing it in front of you. No? Naalala ko tuloy, sabi din ng pamangkin ni Brother Nono, when, when I was doing my, my intensive exercise na sabi ko, uh, parang may time na naglalakad ako, I need something very sweet kasi feeling ko bumababa na yung sugar ko. But I'm trying to fight it off. No? Nilalabanan ko, it's all in the mind. Ah, kaya ko to. No? Kaya ko pa another 2.5 kilometers. At nasana yung katawan ko. No? Nawala yung ano, yung kumbaga yung yung extra energy sa loob ng katawan ko kung mayro man na store diyan, nagagamit ko. I'm claiming that energy inside of me because it's there. Because kung papayag lang ako na manghina ako, then that weakness will, will will really make me weak. Amen. So how can I how can I how can I set my things above if I will do that? Amen. I will never be able to do that. Right? So Christ even said, God said, that if our mind, we will allow the way our mind plays with us, it will really play with you and even bring you down. But always remember that when our thoughts are with God, this is what He will say, my thoughts are not your thoughts. So when we are with God, our thoughts are not the thoughts of those people who wants to do evil against us, even the prince of this world. Why? Because there is power within us. Neither are your ways my ways. Satan, your ways are not my ways because my ways are, are Christ's ways. Amen? Yes, we know that Satan recognizes God. Right? You remember what happened to the legions? Di ba? Nung pumasok sila sa katawan, nung pumasok sa katawan ng tao, no? at kinonfront sila, there are many of us, hundreds and thousands of us, that's why they're called legions. No? Di po ba mayroong ano, isang, reli- isang religion na mayroon silang legion of, di po ba? Naririnig ko yan nung araw, no? Legion, ibig sabihin, marami, no? For as the heavens I are higher than the earth, so are, my, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. So, when Christ, who is our life, appears, take a look at this. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with Him in glory. Amen? We will also appear with Him in glory. You know what? Ito yung bagay na dapat excited tayo. No? Pero habang naging excited tayo sa rapture of the saints, the rapture of the church, ma- ngayon pa lang, malungkot pa rin tayo kung isipin natin yung mga mahal natin sa buhay. No? Let's not be self-centered. Let's not be self-centered. Let's aim. While aiming, let's pray for our loved ones na wala pang Kristo sa buhay nila. Of course, we don't want we don't want the same story to happen when the rich man died and then Abraham came down and he looked up he saw Abraham and said, "Can you send Abraham to my brothers? To my brothers, there are still five of them. And can you just dip his finger in the water so that my tongue can just even be wet or moistened?" Ayon natin mangyaring ganon. Amen. Amen. So when Christ with our life appears. The first thing that we notice here is that Paul says that Christ is our life. Amen? John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. In Him is life. In Christ is life. And this life that we have right now is Christ's life. Amen? And I am not joking because that's what the Bible is saying. And that's the Word of God. The life that I live right now is Christ's life. But why, but why I'm still thinking of things that make me stuck? It's because of my failure to set my things on heaven. Amen? Yun lang po siguro ang napakagandang lagi nating alalahanin. The word appears, this revelation will take place at Christ's second coming at the time everyone will see Him for who He is. The word Christ. His original, names wa, his original name was Jesus, right? And Christos means Savior. Jesus, our Savior. 
when he was still in Mary's womb, his name will be called Emmanuel. Amen? And now that he's here on earth, he is our Messiah because he was promised by God the Father that those who will be returning back to God will be, will be going back to God because the Messiah will be sent in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And without the Messiah, ano kayang klaseng buhay tayo meron? But of course, we're not going to talk about that anymore. So we will appear with Him in glory. Now, how do we set our things, our mind on things above? How do we set our mind on things above? First of all, let's reject things that are not from God. And you know what? This is a big challenge for us. How would we decipher, how would we discern if things are not from God? The answer is very simple. If I'm having things with me and these things are not glorifying God, then these are not things from God. Amen? Let's be guided by His Word because His Word is a lamp out to our, our feet and a light unto our path. Setting our minds on heavenly things sounds like a challenge. Indeed it is. So, to do that, we must turn away from secular things. Yes, may mga needs tayo, may mga wants tayo. But let's not allow them to supersede our thinking over Christ. Amen? Huwag natin payagan, no? Worldly things look enticing. All those colors, lalo pa kapag nagpunta ka sa mall, no? The four letters printed in red, no? They're very attractive, no? Tapos makita mo sa baba, oh, on selected items only. <laughs> no? Excited ka, no? 40 to 70% discount pagpasok mo sa loob. Sabi niyo, sale to. Ma'am, balik po kayo sa labas. Basahin niyo nakalagay, on selected items only. No? Why? Because the letters are very enticing, very convincing. So be very careful with those words, no? Those letters printed in red, no? Ay, lalo pa ngayong pecha pala. Today is what? Swell do day, no? Ah, wala pa. Wala pa. So, um, John, John, 1 John 2, 15 to 17. Do not love the world or the things in the world. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. And who is in the world? The prince of this world, Satan. And the world is passing away, and the last of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Amen? We should not love the world and get attached to it because friendship with the world is an enmity with God. James 4.4 4. Secondly, let's establish a life of persistent discipline. And for the male, for the men here, you know very well that was our very first topic in our um, character study. Remember, right? Uh, discipline. And discipline plays a very important role in our lives. Uh, Paul reminded the Romans in Romans 12 too, in his exhortation, he said, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. This gives the interpretation that members of the Roman church to whom Paul was addressing were already being conformed. Amen? That's why tinatawag na tayo na born again. We were born again. We've been taken out from being conformed to the world. Amen? The world's influence is undeniable. That's true. Hindi natin talaga madinay yung ano ng mundo. Especially those that can entertain us. Those that can entertain us, can entertain our minds, can entertain our eyes, can entertain our taste buds. Amen? The world will control how we think, how we dress, and how we act. The world will tell us what is the standard right now? Amen? Buti nga ngayong year, wala akong narinig na what's the color of the year. No? Meron? 
Ano ang kulay? Magenta. Ano nga ba yung magenta na yan? Uh, pink na lang, madaling spell. <laughs> I bought one shirt, colored blue. I think that was two years ago. Not because today is the color blue for the year. Pero nagustong ko lang yung blue. No? But when we do this, we are conforming to the world. It takes a lot of discipline not to go with the flow which can be done only when our mind is focused on heavenly things. Next, by nurturing healthy spiritual fellowship. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves as the manner of some is. Even when two or three are gathered, there I am in their midst. Why? Because you can talk of spiritual things. And God is glorified. Our way of thinking is often affected and influenced by our friends and the people we are in company with. That's why it is important that we establish, we form friendship with godly people who will help us seek spiritual things, but don't forget the ungodly people because we have mission to fulfill. We need to evangelize to them. So if we may mingle with ungodly people, remember that we have a mission to fulfill and that is to evangelize them. Amen? In 1 Corinthians 15.33, it's just like saying that, tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. The kind of people we are with have great influence in us because bad company, what? Corrupts good character. Amen? Lastly, by developing a consistent prayer life, by developing a persistent prayer life. In 1 Thessalonians 5.17, siguro alala, atandang tanyo to. Pray without ceasing. Amen? Pray without ceasing. In everything, we need to give thanks. This is the will of God in Christ Jesus for us. Prayer is the backbone of every believer. Prayer is the greatest vitamin, supplement, nourishment that we can have. Without prayer in your life, weakness will always be there. Amen? And you might not bring your knees down on the ground just because you're putting yourself in humility, but it's the weakness that's already taking you down because you don't have the energy anymore in the failure of your prayer life to be sustained. Amen? So, let us establish some sort of quiet time and let us be intentional about having conversation with God. You know, there are moments that we need to remember that God is also our friend. And we don't need to, alam niyo yung seryosohin talaga, but you know, habang naglalakad ka, Lord, salamat, salamat, itong lugar na kinalalagyan ko. No? And sometimes, God also jokes with us. No? na hindi natin namamalayan. But if you are connected, if you are so connected with Him, we feel that God sometimes is joking with us. No? And I believe God has been joking with me. You know why? Mayroon akong gustong bilhin sinturon, no? belt. No? Gustong-gusto ko talaga, pero again, nag-aagaw sa isip ko. And prior to that, I think about three or four years ago, mayroon akong gustong bilhin sinturon din, no? pero hindi ko afford. Hindi <laughs> ko afford. No? Sabi ko, Parang it will not make sense to me kung bibilin ko tong ganitong amount ng belt. And then nag-sale minsan. Nag-sale. No? Natitempt na ako. Pero sabi ko, wag muna. No? Wag muna. No? Kasi meron pa naman. No? Lumipas yung mga ilang buwan, yung binalikan ko yung belt dahil decided na ako bumili. Sabi ko, Lord, confide ako. Gusto ko talaga bilhin to. No? Wala na yung belt. <laughs> but, but, huwag mo na kayong tumawa. No? Suot ko ngayon eh. <laughs> yung belt na gusto kong bilhin years back, no? nag-sale in replacement dun sa gusto kong bilhin sana. No? Yun, one-sided lang ito, back to back. No? Pwede kong balik na rin, brown and black. You see how God has been teasing me? No? Sabi ni Lord, My son, this is not the time. In my own time. In His own time. Amen? Not our time, in His own time. He will tell you, My son, in my own time, you will have it with you. You will have it with you. Why? Because my mindset is always connected with Him. 
in his glory that is in me I believe I feel I am so connected with him I do not know about you so if this afternoon you have that question how connected am I to God that I can set my mind on things above can we all stand while you're thinking about this question that I'm throwing at you question this question very simple question ask yourself huh? how connected am I to God I want to set my, my mind on things above but I'm stuck here on earth with so many things so many worries mga pagalinlangan I have doubts bakit? maybe the answer is you have not been connecting your mind to God that much maybe merong mga may mga pagalinlangan so this afternoon brothers and sisters while your eyes are closed and the music is played I want to invite you as we will invite the Holy Spirit to move more in our lives today. Let us ask these questions. Where am I in my life that I say I have faith? Where am I? Nobody can answer you that in that question but you alone. As you close your eyes, think about your mind can run amok. Pwedeng magwala ang ating pag-iisip on so many things. But as God said, with a sound mind, we can focus on God. At siguro, maaring may mga bagay-bagay na nangyayari sa buhay natin because we have not been setting our mind on things above. And that's a very straightforward thing, the heavenly life. So this afternoon, whether you are new, whether you have been here for a long time, I want you to ask yourself, maybe you need to humble yourself again to God and ask forgiveness from God. And those who are watching right now, if you have not received, if you are not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ yet as your personal Lord and Savior, maybe that's the reason why you get stuck on earth because you are not looking above that there is life with Christ. As he said in his gospel in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There's no other way we can go to heaven except Christ. And you can say a simple prayer of asking forgiveness and accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior if you really want to go to heaven. And right now, if you feel that you want to be more purified in your faith to God, the floor is clean. You can humble down to God and say, Lord, here I am. I want to go to heaven someday. But Lord, I'm stuck in this world. Help me, O oh Lord, that from now on, I can renew my mind. I can set my mind on you. Lord, help me to be there. Because we know, I know you know, that God has prepared, is preparing a place for us. And if we want to go to that place, then we need complete surrender to God. And right now, He's telling us, to surrender our lives to Him. To bury all those secu all these secular things that's making a barrier between us and God. Father, we thank You, Lord, for Your love to us. Lord, at times we say we are not worthy of Your love because of what we had been doing in our lives. But because of your glory, Lord, here we are. Lord, now we understand that while we are here on earth, we need to look on things above because someday, someday, Lord, we will be there with you. But Lord, if there are things in my heart and you can see it, that makes me get stuck here, Lord, forgive me all those things. And I promise, Lord, that from now on, I will always look up on things up there in your kingdom because I know that you are preparing that for me. Help me, O oh Lord, to be obedient to your words. Lord, help me to reject those things that are not worthy to be part of your kingdom. Lord, help me to nurture a prayerful life. 
Lord, if you may bring me to people who are ungodly, bring me there, Lord, for a purpose that someday, Lord, I can take them with you and they will be with us, Lord, in that kingdom. And Lord, help me to have a more deeper prayerful life because this is where, Lord, my spirit is nourished every time I come to you for prayers. Thank you so much, Father, for your message today. Indeed, Lord, the reminders of Paul to the Colossian church is also the same reminder even up to this date, O Lord, more than 2,000 years ago when the scripture was written that we need to set our mind on things above. And Lord, my sinful life was buried already with you in your death. And Lord, I am now living a renewed life. I thank you. I praise you so much for this, Lord. And Lord, let me live with these words from now on and onwards. That someday, Lord, when you will come, Lord, I am worthy to be told, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Father, once again, thank you, Lord, for using me as your messenger for this word. And I pray, Lord, that your blessing will come upon each and every one of us. That your words, Lord, will be instilled in our hearts and we'll be able to live with it. All these things, Lord, we ask and pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who was hung on the cross on my, for on behalf of my sins with the guidance and the leading of the Holy Spirit. And here we are, Lord, all your children, all together are saying, Amen. Amen. And good evening, uh, and I hope uh, it touched everybody's life. And I'm suggesting that throughout the week, or even after this week, try to listen to the messages because it is being recorded online. And every now and then, if you listen to it, there's something always. There's always something new that you pick. You you may pick up in the message. And I want to I want to invite everybody's attention. Uh, let us read the text for our offertory tonight. Uh, can we read all together? One, two, three, go. Remember this. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compassion. For God. Okay, so, you know, uh, most of the time, People focus on the last sentence only. For God loves a cheerful giver. But they neglect the preceding statements. What, what are they? Uh, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. But most of the time, people contend and they just focus on the God loves a cheerful giver. He said that it, it's okay to give just 1%, 2%, 3%, percent doesn't matter. But the thing is this, I, I would not like to be very theological right now. I, according to this verse, it says, if you give less, you receive less. If you give more, you receive more. So let's forget, uh, right now let's forget about the last statement which says, for God loves a cheerful giver. Let's just focus on the preceding statements. Uh, that's why in this life, if you give less cheerfully, be also cheerful when you are receiving less in this life. Right? Let's be fair. Now, do not complain if you are receiving less, if you are not giving much for the Lord uh, in his, uh, through his ministries. Do you get the, the point? Okay. So I understand the situation because I was, uh, there was a time also in my life when I was in a situation when I was, con wherein when I was computing, uh, if I give the 10% to the Lord, uh, practically I know that I would be deficit in my uh, budget. So I asked the Lord, Lord, do I really have to give this amount? And the Lord told me, it depends on your faith. Whether it's 10%, 3%, 5%, that is the statement of your faith. Now, if you give more, you will receive more in this life. If you give less, you will receive less in this life. 
I do not think that I have to emphasize that more. And, you know, the Lord also told me, okay, uh, uh, because I said, Lord, if I give this, I will be deficit in my uh, budget. And the Lord told me, okay, I gave you a job. So now it depends on your faith how much you will give to me. Whether it's 10%, less or more, it depends on you. But it's not only about money. Yes, money is important, but what about your talent? What about your time? What about your presence? Are you giving much to the Lord? Or are you only giving a spare time for Him? Do you do your quiet time daily? Do you seek to uh, encourage the, the other believers by uh, exert, exerting effort to be here? Because you know, I love your presence, and the Lord loves your presence even more. So, this is not my law. This is what's written in the Word of God. And if we obey that law, we are, you are not obeying me, but we are obeying the Lord. Where he says, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. And this is the challenge. Try to assess your life. Are you receiving less or much? And try to assess it. Let's go even deeper. Are you giving much or less to the Lord? Now it depends on you. And this may be another challenge today. And I'm suggesting everyone that you take the challenge of taking a leap of faith, giving much to the Lord, and see how the Lord will make things work together for your good. And that's according to your faith. Okay? And I love you all. God loves us even more. Okay? And I think, bro, uh, Brother Ramon will render to us a song number. Praise, praise. Amen. Before we sing, bibigyan mo na ako ng isang verse. Sabi po na, Tesolar niya, 3.13 But yet burden be not wearing and wailing the way. If you know the song, please follow me. You love never fail. i 
Okay, uh, let us all pray. Uh, Lord, we thank you for the uh, finances, Lord, for the resources that you are giving to us, Lord, so that uh, we can continue. We can continue on operating, Lord, in through our church services, Lord. I pray, Father, that you touch uh, and bless everyone, Lord. Not just those who give, but those also that are uh, willing to give, but they feel that they do not have enough, Lord, for the uh, to give this time, Lord. I pray, Father, that you each day, Lord, uh, continue to teach us, Lord, to depend on you more and more and so that uh, we will be able to really, Lord, uh, experience, Lord, how you take care of your children, Lord. And whatever we have, Lord, Lord, right now, I pray that you bless this, give us wisdom how to use this properly, Lord, so that we can reach out to more people and that more people will accept our Lord Jesus as the Lord and Savior and we can be a big part of the expansion of your kingdom. I pray, Father, uh, that you continue to give us, Lord, the joy of, of giving us. And to always be, and to also remind us, Lord, that we are doing this, Lord, for your greater glory, Lord. And we know that whatever we do by faith, Lord, nothing will be in vain. We thank you, Lord. We love you. We glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Brother Jeff and Brother Ramon and Brother Leo for the word. And for our church announcements, please watch this video. Church, uh, if you are free every uh, Saturday and uh, Monday, we have uh, the prayer meeting. Join us as uh, discussed kanina ni Brother Leo. We need to be in prayer always and this will help us. And also the Bible study, we need to nurture ourselves with the Word of God. This will also help us. So for the Thanksgiving and benediction, I would like to call in Brother Leo. Amen. Amen. Are we blessed? Right. So let's close our service with uh, prayer and uh, receiving the benediction. Let's all stand.
Glory to your name, Almighty Father. Lord, indeed, this day, Lord, which you have made for us was full, okay, full of love. And indeed, what a privilege for us, Lord, to have listened to your word, to have sung you praises and worship songs, O Lord. We thank you, Lord, for that feeling, Lord, that you, you have been with us today. We can feel your presence, O Lord God. Lord, thank you for reminding us that we need to set our mind on things above with Christ. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us that the life that we live here on earth is not the same life, Lord, that we used to be, we used to, to live, but it is already, Lord, the life that Christ is living with us and we are looking forward to be going home to the rightful place where we belong. Father, I thank you for everyone who's here today who have received your words. Lord, I pray that you, they've been illuminated through the guidance and the leading of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray that the words have been planted into their hearts, into their minds. And Lord, the moment we step the gate of this place later on, Lord, you will always be in our hearts, in our minds, and we will always be thinking of the things to come which is in heaven. Lord, I pray for all those who have attended online. Lord, I praise you for their presence. I praise you, Lord, for their uh, enthusiasm, Lord, to listen to your word. I pray, Lord, for those who are not here with us today. And even, Lord, for our brothers and sisters who may be undergoing some challenges right now. And Lord, we believe that these challenges are just some icing on the cake, Lord, that our lives really, Lord, indeed has been purified. But Lord, you really want to see our faith in you. Lord, we know that you will be providing us with all our needs. Lord, we know that you will be touching us and heal us from all our infirmities whether physical infirmities, whatever, Lord, we are struggling, suffering right now, whether it's just a simple headache, a pain in the joint, a heavy heart, Lord, we know na walang papantay, Panginoon, sa pagmamahal mo sa amin, at baliwala itong mga ito, Panginoon, lamang na ilalagay namin, Lord, ang aming pananampalataya sa inyo. And Lord, salamat, salamat, Lord, nang dahil sa mga naramdaman namin ito, Lord, here we are, we reconnect back to you because you're reminding us, Lord, through this situation, through these circumstances, you're telling us that, my son, I love you and I would never leave you. Indeed, I'm just a prayer away. And thank you, Lord, for reminding us all of these things. Lord, I also thank you for all the ministries involved here today. Thank you, Lord, for even, Lord, our pastor and Pastor Juan, Pastor Aldrin and Pastor Juan, who's not here with us, Thank you, Lord, for their leadership in this church, the Church of Jesus Christ, the Resurrected King. I thank you, Lord, for the love that you have in, in them and that love, Lord, is being translated into us. Lord, keep them safe and let them enjoy their vacation, Lord. We know, Lord, that our parting, our separation is just temporary. Lord, we, we, we share our love, your love to us. We share it to them as well, Lord. And Lord, we also pray for our brothers and sisters in Bangladesh who have reached out, Lord, because of you, Lord, we are connected to each other. Lord, we pray that whatever is happening there in their ministry, Lord, it is you that comes in their, in their midst. And thank you, Lord, for using us here to be with them in, 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 in Bible study, in praying for them. And thank you, Lord, also that they are trying to share your message. Lord, I pray that that one single soul, O Lord, who wants to know you will become multiplied and that, Lord, your word will be spread that indeed the Lord Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life and there's no one else, Lord. I pray, Lord, for every soul there in Bangladesh. Lord, I pray for Brother Aziz. I pray for Sister Ria. Lord, use them, Lord, according to your will. And Lord, we do not know when you will let our, 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 our feet step on that land to bring your message to them. But Lord, we thank you that through this message, Lord, through your words, O oh Lord God, we are connected to each other. Lord, thank you for the transport ministry. Thank you, Lord, for keeping them safe. Thank you, Lord, for the people who enters their car. And thank you, Lord, also for the other motorists 
who are driving safely, that each of them, Lord, will be kept away from unnecessary incidents on the road. Thank you, Lord, for the good weather as well. Thank you, Lord, for the, the children's ministry. Thank you, Lord, for the kitchen ministry. Thank you, Lord, for the worship ministry. Lord, I thank you even, Lord, for the intercessory prayer ministry, for the, the uh, uh, couples ministry, the preaching ministry, Lord, and all the people involved here, oh Lord God. I thank them, Lord, because, Lord, our lives is really, Lord, and must be intended to serve you, O oh God, whether here inside this worship hall or outside this worship hall. And Lord, I continue to pray that you will not leave us, Lord, wandering in this world, but indeed, Lord, you will be with us in every day of our lives that we will grow spiritually so that the furtherance of your kingdom will really come into reality through us, O Lord. And Lord, as we close this service, we want to receive your benediction. Lord, through me, I will release this benediction. Brothers and sisters, please raise our hands and let us receive the benediction from the word of God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. For of Him, and through Him, and to Him are all things. To Him be glory forever and ever. And church, we sing. Jesus Christ, the resurrected King, go in peace and in safety. May the love of God be with us all. Amen and amen. Thank you, Brother Aziz. Thank you, brothers and sisters online. We love you. God loves you. God bless us all.